It's International Workers Memorial Day. The health unions have called for a one minute silence around the world for the deaths of key workers. But Workers Memorial Day isn't just about mourning the dead, it's about fighting for the living. And we're here today to mourn the unnecessary deaths on construction sites because building sites are being left open. We're here outside the headquarters of MACE because the Construction Leadership Council, which the Chief Executive of MACE sits on, has scrapped the two metre social distancing rule on building sites. When the lockdown started, an electrician on MACE tweeted about the lack of social distancing and was sacked for it. Mark Reynolds' statement from the CLC. Mark Reynolds is, is the representative from MACE. Uh, he says that he wants to open up the construction industry, putting profit before safety, as far as we're concerned. These body bags represent the workers that, through his guidance, are going to die. These body bags are a symbol of how the responsibility has slipped from Boris Johnson's desk the whole way down past the CLC onto the shoulders of men with hard hats on construction sites. We're working in an incredibly dangerous industry already. The chances of coming out of this doing a 40 year stretch and not coming out with a serious injury are pretty low anyway. So being treated like a lab rat, being treated like a canary down a coal mine, send the building workers, if they start dying, you know it's not safe. Right. This is ludicrous, but it's like, because we're at the bottom of the pile, they send us to work. I'm not a lab rat, I'm a human being. Big major companies are prioritising profit over the lives of construction workers and our families. Construction workers are being forced onto building sites because if they don't turn up to work, they won't be paid a penny. Pay every single worker. Whether you're an employee, an agency worker, or self-employed, working on an umbrella scheme, every single worker needs to be paid. Solidarity with all those workers around the world who've died. Solidarity with all those workers who are fighting for a better world and safer world for their families. Mourn the dead. But remember always, we need to fight for the living.